fellow travelers. My name is Phoenix Fire, and I'm joining Chibi and Vertec at the Golden Feather. Come on in, grab a seat, and let's share tales of adventure. But of course, yeah. uh, while we have the announcement of the upcoming live stream on deck as well, we have the most important topic, which is our bard this week, Phoenix Fire. Welcome in. Hello, thank you. You're welcome. It's been a while since we last had you on, so I was yes. wondering, how have you liked the changes that you've seen since we last had you on? Have you been enjoying the uh, overall like development and the path that they've taken, or are there any things that make you go, oh, I'm not sure? Oh, no, I've, I'm really happy with the direction the game has gone i'm trying to remember exactly where we were at last time i was here and i feel like it was shortly after the unreal 5 stream so it's been a while <laughs> i think that was like a year and a half ago so yeah it's been a bit <laughs> yeah it has been a little bit <laughs> um welcome in mr Tastic lloyd ashes near Gink nasty, Hazel. Uh, so, Vertex, do you have any questions for him? I mean, yeah, yeah. But uh, right now, I'm trying to fix that stuff we we're talking about fixing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> did not realize you're doing that now. Okay. Uh, my next question, I guess, uh, pulling off the top of my head, tell us more about your guild. Uh, you were mentioning that you are a part of a merchant guild. Um, let us yeah. know about that. Ooh, yes, the Vera Mercantile, Mer Mercantile, Mercantile at <laughs> Guild. One of them works. Uh, yeah, Vera <laughs> Mercantile Company, uh, Merchant Guild. Obviously not a whole lot of uh, detail to share, not like a super themed or anything like that guild. Um, I think we're waiting for a lot more details to come before we really hammer out uh, an exact game plan you know I was, I was listening a couple weeks ago and oh, i forget the guest's name but they had like this all cleric guild going on and i was like wow you guys are way yeah. more organized than us what's going on here <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah that seemed so fun we have we have no no such plans as far as i'm aware uh we're, we're just waiting for some more more details before we really get into the planning phase you know so are you more of like a mercenary guild or a merchant guild or a mercenary ex-merchant guild? <laughs> uh, I, I get uh, a lot more just PVX kind of uh, uh, f feel from the talks we've been having. But yeah, I'm mostly focused on economical type things i know we're, we have a lot of people that are into gathering crafting that kind of thing including myself i i'm sure i'll pick up an axe at some point and hit something but i'm i'm pretty much going to be found on on a freehold making making all the the game's best items of course of course of course so <laughs> nothing less what i yes. nothing less what i'm hearing is vertex meat is going to potentially be traveling via the uh merchant guild for hire yes <laughs> which is why i wanted to call it merchants for hire because we're going to be talking about some pdx elements today but i want to know uh what has been i mean we we've just been announced today that the next podcast topic for uh not podcast but the next dev stream to topic is uh server merging or meshing server meshing yes um across like your first time starting to follow Ashes to now, knowing that the next server is going to be, or next server, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied. Words the in. next Words stream in. is going to be on server meshing. <laughs> what has been your favorite stream topic and why? Oh my. Um, I'm trying to think back because I've been following for a few years now. So I've seen lots of good ones. Um, probably probably as i i referenced it earlier the unreal 5 
that was the one that took it to another level for me just because everything we saw before that was I don't want to say it was uh rough looking but like yeah it it was very alpha one looking <laughs> it it was early development looking and then everything we've seen since that point has been much more much more polished and a little nicer like obviously there's still the bugs but at least just visually it it's more appealing it looks more like what we've been expecting yeah and i i think that was kind of a turning point for me okay i guess that uh that's a good question for anybody who wants to answer it in the audience as well uh like what has been your favorites as well server merges have been such a hot topic lately be interesting yeah i i misspoke it's actually server meshing and so that's not the same as server merging but i'm sure they will probably play hand in hand <laughs> that is my bad i i misspoke um I'm not sure uh, server merging will be overly popular once the game goes live considering what? every server is a, a separate entity and, yeah uh, i was I was going to say, I feel like I think Steven's perspective on server merging is uh, on a need to do basis, not yeah. a let's just do it willy nilly. It's like if this is the one of the servers or a couple of the servers are absolutely dying, we need to do something with it. Then, yeah. Um, Thank you, Magic. Thank you for your lurking. Appreciate it. Enjoy your lurk. Um, but no, I don't know Penumbra. Penumbra says, do I get a say in the tavern layout and the entire of the beverage servers? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have our own branding. <laughs> yes, yes. You can give your input, but not get your say. <laughs> Is that fair? Is that fair? Um, yeah, no, but fair. yeah, we will talk more about server meshing later and like what exactly that means. Um, Vertek and I came up with, a, I think, a pretty good way of explaining it for those of you that are like maybe not so into tech. Because I know when uh, Vertek talks to me about cybersecurity stuff, it just goes whoop, right over my head. Right over the head. And I'm Same. like, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. Um, oh. oh, yeah, that wasn't directed to you, Mr. Nubtastic. That was just directed in general. We will be getting to that later. Not right this second. Um but I'm hoping Vertek has a question now because I'm running out of ideas. Oh, wait. <laughs> see, I'm, I wasn't sure what meshing was either. And I'm just reading this in chat that it's tech that allows sever several servers to connect together and work seamlessly. So just as a former WoW player, I just call that layering. Is that not the same yeah. thing? Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll get into that later. We'll get yeah. into that later. Right now it's focused yeah. on you. We're about the bard, we not, not about the topics. You. Oh, dear. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, I keep yeah, cuz uh we've we've had you on a couple times. I think what like three times before already. Somewhere uh, in there. This is number 3. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Yep. So do you recall out of curiosity, um when when we first had you on until now, do you think things have kept pace as much as you thought they they were or do you think things have been slower or faster than you thought it was going to be? Uh, that's a great question to be quite honest uh much slower i i thought we would have already been done alpha 2 by now to be quite honest to be fair vertech was re-watching one of our old things and somebody had asked when we thought alpha 2 was going to be we said 2023 at the latest i think yeah we yeah. thought that alpha 2 was gonna be 2023 but well, uh okay so yeah i mean a follow -up we question. were, oh, no, we were playing Sorry. alpha 1 may 2022 and I was like, oh, yeah, like Alpha 2 will be next year. We'll give it a year in between. So I was expecting no later than Q2 2023. But that didn't happen. <laughs> now, uh, along yeah. this time, since that's also changed a little bit, has your view on, say, some of the things you've been you're, you're excited to get into when you, at least Alpha 2, if not full game launch hits? Have they kind of changed? Like, what's uh, what's currently the most exciting feature versus has that changed over time? A little bit. Um, so Alpha 2, I'm just, I'm trying my very hardest not to be selfish. I want to be a good boy and a good tester. 
and go out and just look for bugs and report things and, you know, be be responsible that way. But I also just want to play and have fun, right? <laughs> So I'm gonna gonna try and balance it a little bit, a little bit of both. Um, oh, you know that old song, "Gamers just want to have fun." Exactly. Gamers just want to exactly. have fun. And those are the real lyrics, no matter what anyone has to say. So it's true. Yes. It's true. I made them up just now. I can prove but, it. Yeah. Rewatch once, the recording. Oh my gosh. Once full release hits, yeah, my priorities are very much going to turn to. Uh, being a one-man factory well not quite obviously i'm gonna have a lot of people working with me and stuff but uh yeah crafting uh crafting is gonna be number one just building up a node getting a freehold hopefully and uh just setting up shop okay okay yeah i think wow yeah so if that's the case then what uh what do you think you'd have your priorities be on your freehold are you gonna try and set up an actual business there or are you gonna set up just little uh like processing and farming and husbandry stations and stuff like that so uh, ultimately uh it's going to depend on the needs of the guild and the needs of the node but um you know with whatever creative freedom i have yeah i would absolutely like to be running caravans and just peddling my wares around vera you know <laughs> just siege weapons for all so you yeah. you're going full tilt into the pv x x being yes. literally everything known to man absolutely of ashes if right, I need right. to go bash in a demon's head to get my crafting mats, like, look out. I'm coming okay. for you. Going but against then, the environment, its players, taking down the economy, taking down boredom, all that stuff. Oh, yes. Yes. One man wrecking crew or one orc wrecking crew, I should one say. One orc wrecking crew. Yes. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of my, my orcish brethren. Yes. Being all go getter way to get things done way to be a way to be a representative of your uh your parent race there first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh loudy now um biomes let's talk biomes Ooh. favorite biome where do you where, do you know what biome your your guildy peoples are going to or is there is there a set thing or what would you wish to be uh, housed in um i i don't again i think we're waiting for more more information before actually getting that deep into plans but uh personally just you know out in the world i really enjoy mountains uh but i also enjoy water so you know if 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 i can hit up a nice coastal region with a mountainous backdrop that, that would be ideal for me what about yeah. some giant mountains with a big old watery basin like a big old lake in the background yep i'll take that i i would be more than happy to live there because yeah. you know i think uh the little land it looked like from what i what i recall of the map it looked like the lands on the very far east of the eastern continent had mountain type stuff and it even has you know the one of the one of the orc starting portals there too so we didn't even have right. to travel too far to get started so that was one of the things that got me a uh, little not flustered i guess but um one of the things i stopped paying as much attention to detail on because i went out of my way to memorize every little bit of of the uh, map at one point and then they went and scrapped the map and made a new one <laughs> or well, yeah. the node uh they increased they the size doubled. of the world yes yeah. and they made it bigger everyone yes. always thought it was going to be big and then they were like you know what it could be bigger let's go yeah <laughs> yeah exactly fewer <laughs> nodes but bigger um bigger area yeah, which I'm a fan reach, of. More water. 
So more sailing distance between places. Yes. Oh, yes. I can't wait to hop on a boat. I... I want really quick, um, just because Gank Nasty said, uh, you know, I claimed Frostgrave in the name of the Pyre. I want to see a <laughs> guild that is dedicated to piracy, and I want them to name themselves the Pirates. That's hilarious. Uh-huh. He's got the dad jokes for life. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want to see. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Is that really the orc starting area? I don't know. Honestly, I, I forgot what they said. I feel like maybe it's just the Tolnar that can choose wherever they can start. I don't know. But I feel like <laughs> that you could choose whichever starting area you wanted to start from. The I forget, Enzo gets you guys. It. Enzo gets it. I read your ship. That should be the motto. <laughs> mm-hmm. The the pirates will like like when that's what you do. For your uh your calling card when you go to tell people that you're about to board their ship. Mm-hmm.